What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another mobile gaming video. Today we're going to be looking at Lucky Stolen Treasure with an Age of Origins. Thank you Age of Origins for sponsoring this video. Let's break this down. Alrighty, so here we are, Lucky Stolen Treasure. This tends to come around about once a month, ladies and gentlemen. Beans. And I've got to be honest with you, the most important thing about this event, you need to do this at least three times, is the fact that this is the only area that we can actually get those alternative skins for our Source Spirit Titan. If you check up here up at the top, inside the rewards, you can see that we're gaining a number of tiered bonuses based on the number of spins that we do. Now you get the first one for free, but the rest you have to purchase with real world money or with Age of Origins coins. Okay, so if you have a look from spin five, you can see here, we get a pick one of the Source Spirit skin fragment. There are a number of skins that you can unlock. You can choose which one you want. It's either going to be the Reload Mecha fragment or the Ghost Sword S fragment. Now, as you can see, it goes through, you get three here at tier five, you get an extra five at tier 10, you get an extra seven at tier 15, at tier 35, you get 10 more, and 65, you get an extra 12. That is a total of, I think, about 37 or so, if my math is mathing right about now. 37 fragments of the skin for your Source Spirit Titan. That's the male Titan that you've got. There's also, of course, the... Uh, the Empress as our female Titan in the game. And this is the only real place that you can get them. After you've done 65 spins, for some reason you just can't earn any more fragments and you need 100 total fragments in order to fully unlock. That being said, there is a slight chance that you can actually get some of these fragments from the spin itself. It's a little bit you know, rarer to actually land on this. If you'd see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12, so if it is even odds, you've got a 1 in 12 chance of actually landing and getting an extra 3 fragments. So I think if you want to get a full unlock, you'll need to do 65 spins and about 20... 122 maybe 22 spins of those in total will get you a full unlock if you have absolutely no shard fragments for your titan at the moment let's just go back over here i'll show you where you see that if you go over to your titan click on the little shirt option up here you'll see these are the skins currently available looks like we've got a new skin coming soon for the source spirit titan now you get to choose either one of these honestly i'd say that the samurai looks a lot cooler the only problem is, is i already have 18 fragments of this particular one. The, uh, I can't remember what it's called actually. So the Reload Mecha skin. So in my interest to try and unlock this one first. And the reason I say that this is so important guys is if you have a look down at the bottom, unlocking these skins gives a massive attack bonus. This is the only place that you can get these. If you see, go to source. It's only from Lucky Stolen Treasure. If we check out the Empress over here, yes, she has got additional skins herself, but we check out the source. This is from Brutal Drag Racing. And then the other one here is from Dual of Dominance or Triangle War. So you can't get these skins from the Lucky Stolen Treasure event. But that's not the only thing that you can get from here. Obviously, there is still pretty decent rewards when you look at the additional tiers. You're getting some Officer Fragments, you're getting Officer XP, you're getting those boosts, you're even getting these Stored Energy Jars, which are just fantastic for advancing your Titans to help them evolve further. At the top end, you're getting additional Cat Partery, and uh, you get some lucky coins as you go, which will help you just get a couple of extra spins. Honestly, I think hitting that 65 is in, in your best interests, obviously, to try and get the most bang for your buck. Um, but additionally, there are global and cross-nation ranking rewards that you can get. So if you're within what, top 50 over here, you'll get a certain element of rewards. You get Cyber Angel for a day, for example, and you're getting some individual reputation all the way up to the top end where you can get a seven day Cyber Angel. You get some additional frames and you get some golden skeletons to use on your Titans as well and a boatload more of that individual reputation. Now, the nation rewards will get you slightly different stuff. You get the Time Traveler uh, skin as well for your uh, for your units, uh, which kind of looks like a futuristic cross between the, uh, the Ghostbusters machine and the DeLorean from Back to the Future, but hey, whatever. But it does get you some extra stored energy jars. So there's a lot that you can get as far as rewards are concerned that helps really boost your Titans. So I do think that this is an event that is worthwhile doing. Now, we are going to go ahead and buy some spins. But if I was to recommend this to you, I can get some currently because I've got AOZ coins at the moment. I can get some currently... Um, but if you were to buy this with real world cash, I believe that the 11 is the most bang for your buck. You tend to get one more spin from that. Now, we know we need 65 in total to hit all the additional 
um, shard fragments that we want. So let's go ahead and we'll get the 65 in total here. I'm just going to get the 54 and the 11 over here. That's going to be 65 spins in total. So let's just start our spinning and see what we actually get. Spin, spin, spin. In it to win it, baby. If I can get just a couple more of these fragments. First 10, we got absolutely zero. Let's go again then. Come on, please give me some of those fragments. I really want to get it. Get, yeah. Second 10, still no more of the fragments. But hey, we're getting some additional elite recruitment orders and we're getting some HP boosts, some blueprint chests. It's not too bad. Not too bad. And some stuff to help us with our intimacy with our companion, which is great. Uh, looks like the likelihood of getting the additional shards is incredibly slim. We've done 30 pulls so far and not landed on it once, unfortunately. Let's keep going. Pew, 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 pew. Look at all those spins going around. 25 more. Let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Come on. Get, get just once. Just once, please. Uh, it just it really doesn't want me to get this skin unlocked, does it? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And then we've got another five spin here. So 65 spins in total. That's going to give us the, uh, the shards that we need in order to maximize the benefit we get from the uh, from the skins for the Titan. You can see we've got some Romantic Bench over here. This is going to help our island, obviously. This one here provides 0.6% additional HP to all troops. Not too bad. We've got some gold packs. We've got some speed ups, some VIP points. What else do we get? Boom. More Romantic Bench. That means we can upgrade a little bit. These are the Soul Spirit Fragments that I'm talking about here. Extra Lucky Coins, some Officer XP. Marvelous. More on the bench, extra fragments there, Golden Pandora, healing speed up, lovely jubbly, and nice. I do like getting some additional I'm a DC fragments. That's always super useful to help increase the star counts of your officers. Cat Pottery. Okay, so this increases the defense of all troops by 1%. Additionally, increase the max capacity of wounded by 2,000 at level 6, and increase the max limit of fleet troops in cross-nation battles by 1,000, and that's at level 12. I've currently got it at level 1, so, you know, hopefully we'll be able to upgrade it just a little bit. An extra 10 shards there. Super. Let's claim the next tier. A little bit more there and some more shards there. Okay, marvellous. Let's go ahead and go into our inventory now and use up those fragments. So obviously I've already got 18 shards of the reload mecha fragments. That's where I'm going to throw all of mine. I would really like the ghost sword because I just think, well, objectively he looks cooler. What can I say, guys? What can I say? He looks cooler. That's why I would rather go for him. But... This is fine. We're at 55 out of 100, so I'm going to need to do it at least another two more months to get that full unlock, unfortunately, but I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and place down some of those additional um, materials that we got here. Okay, so we've got the upgrade for the bench here. That's going to go up a level. Uh, just one shy of going up to level six, unfortunately. That's okay, though. We've got some additional stuff to build. Pumpkin cart as part of the Halloween event. Let's chuck that down, get additional power. And then we've got the cut. Uh, I mean, everybody who knows me knows that I love cats. I've got Smudgy and Indy Kits as my kittens. And having two little cute kittens in my uh, in my island is absolutely smashing. Definitely, definitely want to make the most out of that. Okay, super. So you can see that we've built up our luck here. It is currently at 65. And if we check the icon over here, it does say that you accumulate one luck for each spin. So obviously we've done 65 spins. We've got 65 luck. More luck essentially increases your odds of getting the grand prize in the center. It does have a... Uh what do they call it? It does have a uh, pity mechanic where if you have 500 total luck, you are guaranteed to get the grand prize. And the Cross Nation rewards that we see within that Cross Nation reward section, that is the only place that you can get the Cyber Angel, the Time Traveler, and the Cyber Avatar frames. Now, apparently these lucky coins take effect permanently and don't expire. So you don't need to worry about constantly adding to this and trying to increase this to 500 straight away. You can definitely try to build it up over time, over the months. At least that's what it's suggesting here. Now, when it comes to that ultimate prize, you do actually have three choices available to you. You've got the movie theater, the live house, and the water park. You can choose these freely and you can change it at any single time that you want. As far as which ones are the best ones to pick, honestly, I would recommend 
either the movie theater or the water park. And the reason I say this is that the movie theater gives you a shield at the first 10 seconds of each battle that you go into that is essentially going to decrease incoming damage. So it's quite useful there. And the water park conversely is essentially giving you armor penetration or the PS armor special effect, which allows your troops to deal additional damage for the first 20 seconds of battle. Now, if, if I was to slant something in favor, I would probably say that the water park is slightly better than the movie theater, but honestly, you can't go wrong with either one of them. The live house is not particularly bad. However, I think it is a little bit more situational. It is useful when you're trying to attack up against an enemy that has got a lot more power than you. You can see here when the enemy's currently current units are twice the size of your current units, reduce their attack power by 26%. So it is useful but I feel like you're better off served going for the water park or the movie theater first. So let's use that one last spin for luck because we did gain ourselves an extra coin. Let's go. Yeah, we still didn't get the extra fragments that I want. I mean, we didn't luck out this time, but maybe next time, who knows? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Did you have much luck? Which of the skins are you actually going to unlock on your Source Spirit Titan? And until the very next video, peace out and big love.